Hi, this is Darren Blue, and I'm going to walk you through the WordPress dashboard. First, go to the home page of your blog. Then go up to the address bar and type in wp-admin. Again, that's wp as in Paul, dash admin, and hit enter. This brings you to the login screen. Log in with your username and password. And now we're at the WordPress dashboard. Basically, this is like the brain of your blog. Right here up front, we immediately see some menus and some quick, quick action items that we can do. So let me go through each of these. The Right Now tab right here shows you everything that your blog has going on. How many posts, pages, categories, tags, comments, and what the status of those comments are. You can go and click on each one of these and go check them out. Next, the Quick Press tab allows you to write a blog post without having to go over to the sidebar here and add a new one. I don't really recommend using this. I don't, I don't know when you would be in such a hurry that you couldn't just go over here and create a new post, but it's there. I don't use it. I don't recommend you use it. That's what it is. Recent comments. This is kind of cool. It shows you all your recent comments on your blog. Recent drafts. If you left off writing anything, you can just click on it and pick it up here. The WordPress development blog, all this is is kind of like a status update for tech junkies who want to know more about WordPress and the tweaks and how it's being developed. Not something you really need to pay attention to. Incoming links, this is supposed to be a measure of how many links are coming in to your blog. I don't really think it's accurate and not something you need to pay attention to. It's not going to affect anything of how you manage your blog. This plugins, plugins tab right here shows you some latest and new plugins that you can add to your blog. I'm going to have a list of plugins for you. If you don't know what a plugin is, don't worry about it. I'm going to cover that in another video. And then down, down here we have other WordPress related news. Again, not something I pay attention to, not something I recommend you pay attention to. Other than the main WordPress dashboard right here, there's the WordPress sidebar. Here you can create posts, add media such as pictures, videos, audios, etc. Manage links on your blog, pages, comments, um, and then some of the technical aspects such as appearance, plugins, users, tools, and general settings. You open each one of these menus by going over to the right side here and clicking on the arrow and that will expand or collapse them. Other than that, there's the main link to your blog. This link right here will take you to the home page of your blog. Now what I recommend you do if you're working on your blog is right click on this link and select open in a new tab. Now you can view your blog right here without having to click on this link which will take you to this same page but then you're not in your back office anymore. You're not in your dashboard and if you're working on your blog it's helpful to be able to switch back and forth between the two, make some changes, refresh any changes you make, see if they see if they took effect or if you like them, and then jump right back into your dashboard and start editing again. So, for example, let me show you. I'll click on this, and this takes me to the home page of the blog, but now now I'm not logged into the blog. And so if I want to go back and make changes, then I would have to log in again. And that's really how the dashboard works and a quick overview of it. Thanks for watching.